Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss the basic elements of an automated system. So, if you observe any automated system, you will find three basic element. The number one, that is actuator. Number two, that is controller. And number three is sensor. So, in any automated system, these three these are nothing but three basic element. So, now we will discuss one by one element in detail. The very first element that is nothing but actuators. Now, the actuators are nothing but which does the work. And it is controlled by the controller. The actuators in an automated process may in fact be a several actuators, each of which provides an output that drives another in series of actuator. So basically, actuators are nothing but, you can say it is a motor, that does the work or it, or it may be a drive it may be a hydraulic drive pneumatic drive or electric drive and it is basically used for performing the work if you take an example of cnc machine in that case you will find different motors for operating different slides in x y and z direction so suppose you want to move the slide along x direction by certain distance so you have to actuate the motor which is which is mounted on x axis so for for getting the motion along three axis there are three separate motors on x y and z axis again for rotating the spindle also you will find a separate motor so cnc machine consists of three different motors for moving the axis along x y z axis and one separate motor for rotating the spindles and these motors are nothing but the actuators of that cnc machine and again for operating the chuck of the machine you you should have a hydraulic power pack and for operating that hydraulic power pack again you will require a motor so uh, for actuating the chuck of the machine you are using hydraulic drive again for gripping the object in a vise over your milling machine you can actuate that vise with pneumatic power that means you are using pneumatic energy and you are using electric energy for running all the motors in your cnc machine so in all we can say that the actuators are nothing but the different motors for getting the motion along different directions or the different drives like electric drive for running the motors or pneumatic drive or hydraulic drive for gripping the workpiece. Some actuators can only be on and off. Other actuator responds proportionally with the signals they receive from a controller. So some actuators are can only be on and off whereas some actuators respond proportionally with the signals they receive from the controller that means in the runtime you can operate them actuators can be selected for the type of input they receive either dc or ac so in cnc machine either you can use ac motors or dc motor depending on the application or or also you can use stepper motor servo motor also so it depends on the application generally for getting the movement along x y z axis you can use the stepper motor where the input is given in form of pulse and if you are using stepper motor in that case the feedback is not used whereas if you are using servo motors for getting the motion along x y z axis then there will be a feedback device now the second element the second element is nothing but controller. The controller is the element which tells the actuator to do the work. That means the actuator is controlled with the help of a controller. So again we will take the example of CNC machine. So in CNC machine you can see the different controllers like FANU control, Siemens control. So these are nothing but different controllers and which is controlling your machine. So, a controller system may be a simple digital system or analog system. So, basically the role of controller is to control the actuators. So, for operating the CNC machine, you have to write down one CNC program. 
that cnc part program is nothing but the step wise instruction given to the machine and the role of in the role of controller is to read those instructions and instruct the actuator to perform the work suppose you want to move the machine or suppose you want to move the table 10 mm along x axis then in your program you have to mention g00 x set 10 so this instruction will be read by the controller and then the voltage will be given to the motor which is mounted on x axis and through that the rotary motion of the motor is converted into linear motion with the help of lead screw arrangement and you will be getting 10 mm movement along x axis so that is the role of controller now the next and final element that is a sensor so a sensor which provides the feedback to the controller so that it knows the actuator is doing the work so basically a sensor is nothing but a feedback device and which is giving feedback to the controller that the actuator is do the perf do the specified task obviously controlled automation requires devices to to sense the system output that means you should have one mechanism which will sense the instructions given by the controller and uh, as the instructions are given from the controller to the actuators then it performs the work and that work should be sensed by some mechanism and that mechanism is known as the sensor sensors also can be used so that a controller can detect and respond to the changing condition in its working environment so basically the sensors are used for measuring the output suppose you want to move 10 mm along x axis in your cnc machine so you will write in your cnc program g00 x10 these instructions will be read by the controller and then the voltage will be provided by the controller to the actuator say electrical motor but but suppose due to some friction or due to some uh, due to some reasons the the slide along x axis is not moving up to 10 mm so in that case there should be some device that should sense the location of slide and that role is done by your sensor so that sensor will sense the position of slide and again it will give feedback to your controller and that controller will again actuate the motor and you will get the movement 10 mm along x axis the sensors are nothing but the switches and transducer so switches and transducer is the another name given to the sensors so switches are basically used in cnc machine Uh, to limit the movement along x y and z axis so for limiting the movement along x y and z axis you can use the limit switches because see every cnc machine has its own specification suppose you can move along x axis by certain distance along y axis and along z axis by certain distance so you have to limit the motion of slide along x y and z axis and for limiting the motion you can use limiting switches limit switches switches can de detect when a measured condition exceeds a preset level so whatever the preset level and if your slide is moving beyond that it will stop the slide by using the limit switches then transducer can describe a measured condition suppose you want to move 10 mm along x axis then your transducer will sense the distance and it will give feedback to the controller and that controller will stop the motor so that is the role of transducer so in all there are basically three basic element of any automated system the first one is actuator whose role is to perform the task the second one is controller whose role is to instruct to the actuator and third role sorry and the third element that is feedback whose role is to give feedback to the controller that the actuator is performing the work so these are nothing but three basic element of any automated system thank you so much for watching